Hello. My name is Hubert Worthington Snide. I'm an actor. Perhaps you've heard of me. In today's modern high-tech world of streaming, dogging, and raw fish wrapped in vine leaves, we rarely take the opportunity to spare a thought for the mild, the weak, and the downright unfortunate. But today, right now, I appeal to you all to do just that. For there still exist today a minority of people, of sufferers if you will, who almost thirty years ago now fell foul of a dreadful and some might say horrific social craze that has plagued their very existence to this day. I am talking, of course, about the chicken leg transplant. For some, the 1980s was the decade for shoulder pads, new romantics, the perm and the mullet. But for a particular minority, in what was described as the social stand against normality, the chicken leg transplant offered an alternative avenue and the opportunity to graze with the other animals in their local farmyard. The chicken leg transplant certainly had its downside. You rarely saw these people wearing shorts during the summer, Running for the bus was an issue, and while sitting on the toilet was never a problem, getting back up again most certainly was. The transplant itself was a simple process, involving the removal of a standard pair of legs and replacing them with chicken legs. The deluxe pair, dipped in barbecue sauce, became a particular favourite in 1986. For some people who were uncertain of the benefits, a single chicken leg transplant was a suitable compromise, offering them the opportunity to graze and hop at the same time. All too soon, like so many other crazes, the chicken leg transplant became a thing of the past. Dr. von Rims Akdov, who not only introduced the craze, but also carried out each and every procedure in his kitchen, disappeared leaving a confused and desperate society of chicken leg transplant sufferers to deal with their plight. Sundays became a major concern for patients as the local population hunted them down for an alternative to the Sunday roast. Today those that remain have moved to the fields and hills just beyond my back garden. Can you help me to exterminate these freaks of nature? Just a small donation of £100 or £1,000 will help me to buy the necessary tools and equipment needed to lay siege on these clucking creatures. Call 0800 800 123 and donate now a thousand or, or £10,000. That's 0800 800 123. Thank you.